Hi folks, in this video we'll take a look at the pick and play tool within an Isaac Sky course site from the perspective of both a student and an instructor. A uh, brief note about pick and play, it's a tool that's uh, recently been acquired at Brock University. It can be plugged into Sakai course sites after uh, communications with the CPI here at Brock. Uh, it's great for facilitating video assignments in which students generate their own video and then submit it to a course site whether or not you'd like that video to be private and only viewable by the instructor or viewable by the rest of the course. Uh, for this particular example, we're actually uh, showing how an assignment that will be uh, that generates video that will be viewable by all other students can be created and uploaded to the site. So we're starting with the student view of a course site that has the pick and play tool enabled. So we'll give that a click and then click the Dropbox button. And at the moment, I'm browsing my local computer to uh, grab a video that I've just created. <clears throat> and after choosing a title, we'll click Add Media. And we can see that it's uploaded. So it'll take some time for that video to appear within the course site. And what's also important is that an instructor must first vet that video so that it becomes visible to the, to the rest of the students. So we'll switch to our instructor view and switch over to the pick and play tool. This dialog will appear um, up until video is added to the tool. And we, then we can see um, in our similar view of the pick and play tool, there are three tabs, the third of which is a media inbox, which is indicating that something is new. So if we'd like to see what's been uploaded, which has just been me moving my mouse around on my desktop a little bit, looks like a legitimate video. So we'll click action and then add to course and choose the course folder which uh, happens to bear the same name as the course site. So we can see that it's processing now. Uh, once this is done, this video will be viewable by uh, all other students within this course, or at least those that are active within the course site. Hope this has been helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, please contact uh, edtech at brocky.ca, that's E-D-T-E-C-H at brocky.ca, or extension 4374. Thanks for watching.